Well, when I came to Purdue, I originally thought I wanted to do teaching. My mother was a teacher. But I wanted to know what it was good, what the math was good for. I liked math and science, and but I wanted to really understand how to apply it because I hate it when you ask, well, why am I learning this? And they couldn't tell you. And so engineering looked like the way to go, to learn how to use math. And so that took me at least into the general field, but I really didn't know what I wanted to do with it. Since my father and brother were electrical engineers, I took a look at that first. So I took a course my first semester but it just didn't quite click for me. So then I was looking at, my, my father was a jack of all trades engineer. And so besides electrical, he was out in the woods doing things. And I actually had done some land surveying with him. He was a registered land surveyor. And so I thought, well, I'll try that, you know, kind of combine civil and land surveying somehow. Well, surveying the Purdue football stadium parking lot in January convinced me that was not the way I wanted to go. But at the same time, I was lucky enough to take a class my second semester freshman year in athletic training. And I say lucky enough because my advisor didn't dissuade me, but this was a 300 level class in the men's PE department for which I didn't have a, the prerequisite. But I was interested in athletic training because I used to have shin splints in high school and nobody knew what to do for it, you know, running up and down the Indiana basketball court. So I took this class, well, I want to go learn it. I used to go and look through the catalogs for the different schools all over campus, just looking for things that looked interesting. When I saw that, I was like, oh, I want to go do that. So I did. I, I took it pass-fail. The instructor let me in, even though I didn't have the prerequisite. He was like, what major are you? Oh, I'm an engineer. Okay, yeah, you can come. It was in the men's PE department. He figured I could keep up. Well, that's what helped me find a path because I fell in love with it. It's like, this is really interesting. I'm learning how the mechanics of joints work and how to tape a knee and how to tape an ankle. And, and so I want to put this together with the engineering because maybe I could design protective equipment for sports or prosthetics and orthotics. So I went back to my advisor and you know, told him what I was interested in and he helped me figure out that maybe aeronautical engineering had the right things because of lightweight structures and materials. He also happened to be in a, an aeronautical engineer who'd done his PhD on the aerodynamics of stuttering. So he understood that, how you can blend things. So I now had a little bit of a direction. So I started taking aero classes because I was now moving further into my career. It took me an extra semester to get out of freshman engineering because I'd kind of meandered a bit. But I now had a path. And so I started, I went back and picked up the prerequisite course the biology course I needed for athletic training. But at the same time, now I was heading down a road where there was a little bit of structure. And so that's kind of how I found my way. It was trial and error. I, I was also in Army ROTC. And at the time, they were switching rules. And I'd figured out that for a variety of reasons that I needed to go to medical school to be able to do the engineering with the medicine because doctors don't listen to anybody who's not a doctor. So I've, I decided I needed to go to medical school to do something so that doctors would listen if I did something that was worthwhile. And it turned out the Army had a rule right then that was gonna be if I didn't graduate by a certain point, I wouldn't be able to go straight to medical school. I would have to go out and serve for a while before I could go. So IDE was a pathway where I could make more of my credits count. And there wasn't biomedical engineering back then, so there wasn't, hadn't been a degree path for that, which might have been what I'd done. But so it, IDE was a path that got me what I wanted for, I wanted engineering, I wanted to combine it with the sports medicine, but I also wanted to go on to medical school and it helped me bring that all together.